the desert has a way of drawing people back to it. Sunnylands is the home of Walter and Leonore Annenberg. It was their winter home. The Center and Gardens was added in 2008. The garden was designed to be what I like to call a, a gift to the public. It was a way for the public to have access to part of the Annenberg estate. Since Eisenhower, Every president, except for two, have come and visited Sunnylands. There have been some significant events that have occurred there, decisions made, and the trust was tasked with continuing this legacy. So the center was designed by Frederick Fisher and Partners. And the landscape was designed by James Burnett. It had to be uh, an aesthetic garden, an art garden. So it's, it's very different than what people expect in a, a botanical garden. Instead, this is a space that is supposed to be peaceful, that is supposed to be welcoming. It is lush, which is not always a word that you use with desert gardens. It reflects the Annenberg's collection of Impressionist and Post-Impressionist art, but in this case, it's actual living plants that are representing the paint strokes. The Impressionists, you know, they were painting a brief moment in time. They were capturing something that was gonna change an hour or two later as the sun moved. In our garden, the plants grow, they bloom. Plants were selected based on their color and structure. You have the aloes and the agaves that are, are very upward, and you have the barrel cactus that are round. And when you use them in large numbers, they do create this architectural structure that actually fits very well with a contemporary building, but at the same time playing on that original view of an Impressionist artwork. I think James Burnett really spent a lot of time in thinking about how people would move through the space. There needed to be moments where they could see the center and see people, and there needed to be moments where they feel like they were the only ones standing in that garden.